Hello and welcome to this how to universe tutorial and today I'm going to be telling you a bunch of cool hidden features in Windows. Now this could be for Windows XP and Vista but I'm using Windows XP so I don't know if they work in Vista. Now the first thing I'm going to show you the Microsoft Windows XP intro. I'll put you just as what you type in you go to start run and type in type in C colon Windows slash system thirty two blah 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 all this stuff. I'm gonna actually put it in the description so you can actually just copy and paste it. Click OK. That's odd. One sec. You might just want to do that. Press enter and it will open um, the images folder for your system 32 files. Sorry, why I don't know why it does that. And if once you open that, it will play the Windows XP intro. Pretty crazy, huh? Now, since I'm already at this folder, I might as well show you the other thing that I was doing. The other one is called, is a hidden song in Windows XP. Now, you've probably seen this a billion times, but just in case you haven't, I'm going to show you it. It's called title.wmv. So, just go to start, run, all this stuff, and go to in slash title.wmv. I'll send you, I'll put the link or the file link for uh, this too. So I'll play that. And it's just a pretty cool song. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other things. A couple of hidden programs or applications in Windows XP. The first is SND REC32. And basically what it is, it's a sound slash voice recorder. And it will come up with this. You can click record. It will start recording. Woo, yay, record. And then you can save it. So it's kind of cool. Now the next one is mplay32. And it's a hidden Windows media player start run control V and play 32 and you can open any file to play it and what's cool is when you try to open something it has a ton of sounds that are actually included in um, Windows so whenever you hear the thing go da da or anything like that It'll ha all these sounds are right here. All those beeps and annoying things you hear whenever you mess something up. And you can actually save this to your desktop and use them later. later. Next one is WinChat. It's a Windows chat program that is actually included. Well, duh. Oh, my bad. WinChat. I did cat. Haha. <laughs> WinChat. And you actually have to um, open your person you want to use, their IP address, then you can start talking. You can only actually start talk talking once you've connected to somebody else's IP. So you have to know their IP in order to do it. I just dropped my mouse. So it's a pretty basic chat program, nothing good. I just use Skype or something like that. Now the next one is just edit. Huh, pretty cool. Okay, anyway. And that's a hidden text editor like notepad. Except it looks really weird. Looks like command prompt. Okay, 
Okay, edit. And just type stuff. Options, you can change the colors. All the stuff, it looks like it's from something. Looks like it's from like Windows 95, honestly. Anyway, the next one is EUDC Edit, and it's a hidden font editor. And you can draw out a font. Save it, or something, I don't know. It's really not that great. I mean, it, you can draw on pixels, woo. But it's just a basic font editor, so you can create your own fonts, and I think you can save it as a TTF or EUDC, I guess, I don't know. But it's fun to play around with, and it's pretty cool. So I'll be po posting all of this stuff in the description of this video. Check them out. You might have some fun with them.